Hey guys, Candymilk up here, and welcome back to another one of my custom Lego minifig uh, review videos. Um, so, like all the other videos, um, all the characters that I've created um, and are going to be showing off in this video will be listed in the description of the video. Um, that way you can go ahead and read that just in case uh, before you watch the video to see if there are any characters that you would actually want to see and if uh, if you feel like it you can comment down below and suggest characters for me to make out a Lego and I'll try to do that so uh, yeah let's get started starting off we're gonna start with the um, Metal Gear figures um, with these videos I always have a few Metal Gear figures to show off um, so yeah, um, here's the first one, this is, uh, Benedict Kazuhiro Miller from, um, Metal Gear 5, The Phantom Pain, so, there he is, um, he's got a custom brick built, or well, kind of brick built, I don't know what you could say that as, um, but he's got a crutch there. It's pretty cool. Uh, he's got his beret there. Uh, tried to capture as much detail from his outfit as I could. And I think I did an okay job. So, um, I'm pretty happy with him. Um, I think he turned out alright. Uh, now, for the next figure. Now we have Revolver Ocelot from the same game, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Here he is. Um, tried to get as much detail as I could from his torso as well, even though his torso is pretty uh, um, simple. There's not much going on with his outfit. Um, got a little scarf here. He's got two result, uh, revolvers as his accessories. Uh, he's got a little gun and a gun pouch there. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's Revolver Ocelot. The last figure in the Metal Gear lineup is Raiden uh, from Metal Gear Revengeance. So here he is. Looking pretty neat. Um... I didn't have to do much on this figure because I found a torso that worked really well for most of the design that he had. Um, that torso being the uh, Marvel Age of Ultron uh, Ultron minion body. And it works pretty well. Um, I didn't have a sheath so I sort of just had to build one with a neck bracket and a clip piece back there. Uh, so that that's that. He's got a sword. Yeah. Um, also, you can um, take this visor piece off. There's a little bit of smudge there. Okay, there we go. Um, take the visor piece off to reveal his face underneath. There's that. Uh, you can see under his hair. Uh, there's more detail. pretty cool looking I think he came out alright uh, so yeah there's Raiden next we have one character uh, from this franchise uh, we have Leon from Resident Evil 4 he's got a really cool pistol there There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, looks pretty cool. I like his expression. Um, as you could probably tell, with some figures, I think the expression of the face that's already on there matches the, um, the character I want to do pretty well. So I'll pretty much keep that original face with uh, with how it is, and then. 
change it slightly. So yeah, that's what I did with Leon, and I think he came out okay. Next figure. I didn't know if I should count this character as being two figures, being it's one character, it's the same person, but I have two figures of him, and they're a bit different, but, um, yeah, um, here we have Yugi from, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, he's got the Millennium Puzzle there on his chest. He's in his uh, school outfit, which he wears quite often. And um, the other figure is Yami Yugi, but we use the same hairpiece. We set that figure off to the side and get the other one and put the hairpiece on him. So this is Yami Yugi. Uh, without the coat of the school outfit. So, yeah, they're pretty similar. With only uh, a few minor differences. Millennium Puzzle. Get back on there. There we go. But yeah, that's Yugi. Next figures from the same show. This is Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. So there he is. Had a bit of a tough time making this uh, trench coat uh, for him. It was a pain in the butt, but I think it looks okay. He got the little Kaiba Corp logo on his belt buckle. Um, his angry expression, as always. Because Kaiba's not a very happy guy. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I think he came out alright. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much to say for Kaiba. Because he's such a simplistic figure. Um, the only thing that challenged me was the trench coat. Last figure is from Tokyo Ghoul. This is Ken Kaneke or Kaneki. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I haven't seen the show yet, uh, but I do intend on watching some of it uh, in my free time. Um, but here he is. Take the hair off. You can see the rest of his eye there. He's wearing his mask and everything. Uh, originally, I did intend on making the, um, I guess, tentacle things that he's seen in. He's seen with in a bunch of pictures, but I didn't know exactly how to go about that. And I decided that it wasn't really <laughs> worth my time. But, um... I don't know, I might do an update on him in the future, and uh, see uh, what you guys think. Anyway guys, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button in the, down below to show me that you did. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel, and I'll see you guys later.